You're watching 13 News live at 10. With the surge of people seeking asylum at the southern border, U.S. Customs and Border Protection is moving resources around to best deal with the influx. And this has some residents of southern Arizona worried. And a lot of that is because some of these moves are from highly visible places. Good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm Mary Coleman. And I'm Dan Maris. As we've been telling you, people like specialty agents and port officers are being moved temporarily. And now checkpoints are being shut down so the agents can help with all the influx of people coming in. 13 News reporter Emily Miranda joins us now from the closed Amato checkpoint on I-19. And Emily, you've been talking to residents. Do they feel this could impact their safety? Dan, I have gotten mixed reactions from Nogales residents here today. Some are concerned about their safety, while others tell me that they feel things are going to continue in Nogales as normal. But one thing many did say is that they have already seen less CB off CBP officers around town, and many of them pointing me to this checkpoint here on I-10, I-19, which you can see behind me is dark and closed, which many say they haven't seen in a long time. Cindy Rodriguez has lived a block away from the border in Nogales for three years. She has experienced migrants hiding out and crossing through her backyard. She says having a large amount of agents around brings her and her family peace of mind. I always have one around the corner of my house. She is concerned about CBP moving resources around. It is really, really concerning that border patrols wouldn't be, you know, available for us because honestly having border patrols make me feel safe. On the other side, some residents say they will still feel safe and believe not much will change in Nogales. Daisy Soto is one of those. I feel like if they were to, you know, like take most of the CBPs away, it would still be pretty calm town as it is right now. Many residents tell us they are already starting to see less CBP presence around town and more Nogales police officers on the streets. Soto said this is keeping the community safe. And I feel that that's better for like the town as well, you know, because they're more able to, you know, protect the area as well. Rodriguez hopes CBP will be able to balance out their resources in the near future. I'm hoping that they're able to balance out where they have the same amount of border patrols we have now. Some residents also say there is a concern about illegal activity happening with less people able to catch it. Reporting in Amato, Emily Miranda, 13 News.